Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to comment below. So today I'm here with baby Nigel, and baby Nigel is the Willow Awake. He is the prototype number three by Claire Teller, meaning that he was poured, sculpted, painted, and rooted by Claire Teller herself. Um, and I've just been so blessed to be able to have him in my nursery. Um, now, something that you guys may or may not already know about Nigel. Nigel is my absolutely favorite baby in the nursery. He is my absolutely heartbreak because he is the most flawless painted silicone baby that I have received to date from Claire Teller. So you guys know like silicone is very complex. I'm going to get him dressed too. I'm not just going to sit here. But now that's my favorite that I've painted to date. My baby um, Lily, the Mick. She goes everywhere I go. That's why she's always in the video somewhere. Because every time I go to another room I take her with me. But anyway, needless to say, um, silicone is very complex. And painting silicone is like painting with honey. It's a very hard medium to work with, um, but also very rewarding. Um, I don't know how this is gonna look on this yellow background, but he's gonna put on these PJs because we're gonna have some PJ time. But, um, but yeah, so, you know, and then just getting the colors right, like sometimes, like, you know, as you guys know, when I do my vinyl, I mix my own colors and the same thing with silicone. The thing about silicone is it kind of forces you to mix your own color. Um, unless you buy some of the pre-mixed colors and stuff like that that people sell um, nowadays for silicone too. But it's just very, very complex. It's a different, it, it sits, it, it comes across different on the silicone when it um after it's matted it changes a little bit you know it's a lot of different components to painting silicone that makes it a lot more complex than painting vinyl and um i would have to say it's 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 very challenging but and that's why like i said even from claire taylor you know you're not gonna have like the most perfect baby um but her work is the most flawless I've ever seen um, to date. Um, I've seen a lot of, a lot of, a lot of painters work in person and not to say that it isn't good. Some even may, I can even say was great. But to, to master the coloring and to master the even flow and all that stuff, I've never seen anyone do it like Claire Teller. But even so, some of my babies that I've gotten from her, I loved more and some I've loved less. Some was not my cup of tea. Some was just absolutely my favorite, but I still let them go. And he has just happened to be one of my favorite, favorite, favorite to date. Um, it triggers all types of warm, fuzzy memories of my real babies. Um, when my babies got about this size they had a little bit more color I think but when they were first born like my son he was this light <laughs> um I think my son stayed about this color for a little while um oh my god it's like trying to remember 20 years ago but yeah the so nevertheless like you know, I love Noah. Noah is like definitely a rare form because Claire doesn't paint the dark skin silicone as often. So he's a very rare baby for me. And, you know, I really love him. Um, and he does remind me of my children as well. But Nigel trigger more of a memory because it's closer to their skin tone. So it's more familiar to me. And... Um, so yeah, so, you know, I tell people that all the time, and the reason why I tell people that all the time, because people always 
you know, I guess feel some type of way when I say Nigel is my favorite. He is my favorite. Sorry, guys. <laughs> he is my absolute favorite. Like, I will sell every doll in my collection if I had to just to keep him. And I've worked very hard. You guys have no idea. I've worked very hard to hold on to, to, to Nigel. Um... So, he is, like I said, the sculpt itself is my all-time favorite. Um, the Willow Asleep, because I'm a sleeper fan first, before I'm a weight fan, um, normally. But the weight sculpt in this, this sculpt here, I really, really love. I could paint... 10,000 asleep, and I can paint mm, 6,000 of the awake. <laughs> but he, I just love him so much, you guys. And I just feel like I am just so happy, you know, to be in this happy place with my hobby, guys. I don't know, like, if you guys ever had that moment where you had that slump where you're just kind of like, eh, I'm not feeling it, or... You know, you're just so frustrated. You just don't even want to do anything doll related because you're just tired of all the negativity or, you know, whatever the case may be where you just lost your 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 passion for it. Um, I've been there. And then when it come back, it's like, oh, my God, it's like, man, I, I, I love this. You know what I mean? Like, I truly love this. Um, I love getting my babies dressed like I haven't recorded but I've gotten so many different babies dressed in my nursery. Like I did my Dwayne's. I did the my Dwayne asleep with Dwayne awake, which is Hunter and Cody now. Um, because I changed the girl to a boy. I've just had so much fun. And I think if we like if you're in a slump and you really just sick of the hobby, I think if you take you take a step back and just really, really enjoy the reason why you even came to the hobby like which is the dolls the dressing part photographs stuff like that you know i think you'll find your way back and it's like i don't know it's like better than the first time because now i can really appreciate what this hobby does for us like you know i'm so excited my mom is getting into the hobby my mom wrote me the other day and she was like and I'm not just saying this seriously. My mom said this to me. And I was like, what? Out of the blue, like midday yesterday. She's like, girl, your channel is... She said, girl, your channel is the bomb. And I was like, what? And she was like, she was on my live stream yesterday. I was like, you got to be kidding. Well, not yesterday, but the day before. Because it was yesterday when she told me. But she was like, she was on my live stream. She was like, that I... She was like, you should have been an actress or something or whatever. I don't know, but... Um, so it feel good. My mom is actually in the hobby. My mom is actually following me on my social medias, which is so crazy cool. But, um, she actually wants a mick now too. And so I'm going to paint her, her next baby. Um, I did tell her she had to buy her own kit though. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm just so excited because, you know, it's just, it's just been fun and I just hope that everybody else can at least have fun. I mean, a lot of us are, you know, in the house can't go out really. Um, I would say trapped. Look, told you she always there. I would say trapped, but I wouldn't call it trapped because I don't go out anyway. So it doesn't bother me like it might bother other people. But I totally understand because I know like for my guy, he is a person that loves to go. He's always on the go. I always tell him he's much older than me, but I always tell him, you know, I'm the old one, right? Because I'm the one that's like, I don't feel like it or I can't remember stuff. And he'd be like, don't forget to do this. Did you do that? And I'd be like, oh, so he's the goer. And so it's like, you know, I want him to, you know, settle down and stuff like that because, you know, I don't want him to get sick. And so I, um, so I'm constantly praying for him. And then I'm like buying him all types of stuff. To, well, not all types of stuff, but I bought him for his birthday, like different series and stuff. 
so that he can like just watch movies you know just like come on like you know but he's like in the yard like all the time because he needs to go but anyway enough about my guy but I just think that for me it's relaxing I'm home I'm here with Gabby I don't have to worry about her at school them mistreating her being bullied or you know me at work you know my cus co-workers getting on my nerves or getting frustrated well I still get frustrated and they still get on my nerves because I'm working from home but you know what I mean um it's not the same so you know and I do but then I do miss some of my co-workers and the laughs and seeing people and stuff like that so I get it but I mean I'm taking this time to enjoy my hobby like I'm, I'm really taking the time to really really take it all in I'm you know painting more I'm just feeling just good you know like feeling really really good I I, I don't know what else else to, to how else to describe it but I just hope that you guys get that um I know that you know there's been some negativity that has tried to come my way people have tried to pull me into drama stuff like that you know I, it's like uh not interested <laughs> I'm not buying it I don't want it <laughs> You know, people like, oh, such and such going on. I did say this and I said that. Well, you know what? Whatever. You know, people have done things to try to sabotage me. You know, um, there are people that are pretending to be my friend right now that I know exactly what they're doing and exactly what they are and who they are and who they're affiliated with and who they're associated with. And all my, um, you know, my paranoia and all that stuff kind of sits back in the back burner but I'm like you know eh, I got time for that I ain't playing this with the gadget I'm not worrying about it you know I'm living my best life as best as I could I got enough going on in my personal life that I could sit in the corner have trembles cry blow snot boogers all day about so I'm not gonna be taking that into my hobby and sometimes if you change your perspective in the way that you look at things you can feel a little different now I don't know why I started to talking about that I feel like I'm lecturing and stuff like that but anyway back to the baby so these pjs let's talk about these pjs i just i'm before i go i'm gonna cut this video off but these pjs on him i just wanted to mention are from walmart they're like six dollar pjs they are probably like 12 months if you can see they're really big in the waist they're nine months probably because that's what i normally do i try to get the smallest size that they come in yeah nine months and they're cut so small that you can put them on any of your babies pretty much um, if they are got a little bit of size to them. So I buy them the nine month pajamas and even though they're really baggy on the waist part, it's okay because you just pull them all the way up and the shirt is a little long but they fit just fine they, and they feel so cute and snuggly in them and they're only like six bucks. Like guys, I'm all about saving money. If 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 it's a way to save it, I'm saving it. Like I am not the one to run to try to buy the the, the highest you know price item. So you know, not to say that every now and then we not gonna splurge on something nice because you know, and I trust me, I bought a couple nice little outfits for some of my special babies and. When you put them on them, I'm like totally understanding why people buy the clothes that they buy, expensive clothes and the name brands and stuff like that because it does make the babies look very exquisite. Um, and so I can totally appreciate their, you know, their style. So I love it. I've always loved and I've never said that I haven't loved the way that people dress their babies. Um, it's just not my thing because I can't afford it. Um, and I know that sounds crazy when you got a doll that's so expensive in your collection or a couple dolls that's very expensive in your collection. But I, you know, everybody pick and choose what they spend their money on. My poison is the doll itself. Some people, they want expensive dolls and expensive clothes and they can afford that. That's their, their pocket, right? So, but for me, I can only afford to do one or the other. And or I choose to afford to do one or the other. I can do both, but it just don't make sense for me. So, but I do love seeing my 
nieces and nephews and other babies in the clothes. Even some of the people that I don't even vibe with, I enjoy watching their babies in the really nice, cute little clothes and the long socks and stuff. I think it's simply just adorable. Guys, you rock. All of you guys are so awesome and so great. And I just hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that. Like I said, if I ever disconnect from YouTube, I can almost assure you that I will be on Instagram because taking photos and showing my babies is what I love the most. Be great.